I am Sister Marie Dolorette Farias. I'm a school sister of Notre Dame. It's an international congregation founded um, almost 175 years ago to educate, especially women and children, to be empowered for leadership. The founders uh, felt that uh, unless the women were educated and were in leadership roles, the world truly would not be transformed. Um, our congregation is dedicated to Our Lady, and the symbol that's basic to our congregation is that we would give witness by living in unity, regardless of languages, nationalities, colors of skins, or cultures. And so uh, that is basically how we represent ourselves all over the world. I met the School Sisters of Notre Dame when I was in the sixth grade. They weren't the first sisters. I had other sisters of other congregations I had met. But for you to see why I was so attracted to the sisters, um, you'd have to have a sense of how I grew up. My grandfather was a politician. My mother was very involved in all that we could do to make people aware that they could make the society better by their voting rights, by critical thinking. Education was very important. We lived in a very cross-cultural neighborhood with Czechs, Lebanese, Greeks, Blacks, Mexicanos. And so when I met the School Sisters of Notre Dame, I realized that they had the ingredients that I grew up as something valuable. Education, helping people, and having many cultures and languages. When I entered the congregation, I went to the St. Louis province because the Dallas province hadn't been established yet. And to this day, we have very dear friends there. I was one of the first sisters that was selected not to teach in a classroom, but to become qualified as a religious educator. The congregation who always valued quality education felt that Poor parishes had to have equally educated people to truly educate persons to to take, be leaders, leaders in the church. It's a very interesting experience for me to even get to how my mother is at this point because I had to tell her that I was entering a community where you're sent away far from home and you don't you come once a year to celebrate. However. One time I was near my home in Corpus Christi, Texas, and she thought I was leaving the convent. You know, ay mija, estás muy cerquita de la casa, ¿qué te pasó? Then I had explained to her that I had a special project I had to do with bishops, and I'd be there about four years. But I was amazed how she had herself responded to her own call as a mother of a sister that was global, that was um, had a sense of education. I used to think that I'd have to have stars in my face or an angel tapping on my shoulder to say, I'm calling you to be a sister, but God doesn't work like that. Uh, sometimes we have fears of really wondering if I have the call. I think that following the call of Jesus is also answering questions to yourself. If you feel adventurous or restless, you think the world should be changed, something better should happen. You're ready to walk and to talk to, with people. Once we enter and we process a way of being called, you get accompanied by many other girls and many other women with many questions and you find out that we're all very different and we can still bring who we are as we learn to be community because it is who you are that will be sent out to serve with the gifts that you have. I used to think, especially entering a German congregation, that I was going to have to become very German. Well, I found out that I learned to be enriched by them, but they also learned how to value who I was and what I brought into the congregation. Having a fear to become a sister is no different than the fear of should I get married or should I be alone or should I have this job and how would it be if I have to move away to 
far from my family to work in a better place? They're all the same questions. But you have to really ask yourself, do I have a capability of interacting and loving people and wanting to work with others? Am I really frustrated that some people could do better and I could help them reach better goals for themselves? Do I feel that the world is shrinking? That would be what we would look at when a woman wants to be a school sister of Notre Dame. Think about it. Persons interested in becoming school sisters of Notre Dame uh, form a relationship with somebody that they know. We have school sisters of Notre Dame all over the United States, in Canada, in Japan, uh, in South America, in Guam. We're all over the world. Wherever there's school sisters of Notre Dame, you get connected with them. Then there we have a process of getting acquainted through what we call an affiliate program. You walk and talk with the sisters, you shadow the sisters, you get to know how different we all are, you get to find out how excited we are about what we can do, you get to find out how frustrated we are when things just don't move fast enough. And then after that, when you discern whether you want to come into community, you become a postulant, then a novice. The qualities that school sisters of Notre Dame usually look for is are you eager to learn, to be updated, to have a way of wanting to teach and learn, help people learn? Another quality is, do you like community? Do you want to learn from others? Do you want to be in an adult relationship? Well, together you negotiate and plan and plan your own future together. Are you willing to accept different cultures, excited about the things that come that are new? Are you willing to share your own? seeing that the world is really a village. And then another question is, can you dialogue? Because in our community, we talk about how we go together to where the needs are. We challenge each other, we encourage each other. So you have to be able to want to share. And then we have a novitiate and there's temporary vows. And in this time, you get to learn to be with other sisters. You might find out that you're going to live with sisters of other cultures. You get to experience all kinds of things. And then we look at where your gifts are. Our main charism is to educate. You can educate as a physician, as a teacher, as a professor, as an advocate for law. Any, anything is possible with the school sisters because we can educate in many, many ways. And I will say goodbye. Me despido. Sayonara. Alvirizain.